everyone. I'm glad that you joined this afternoon for our second international user group meeting. As you can see, we introduced a little bit of a more offline event feeling to our user group meetings. So um, I'm very happy to welcome you today on stage here in our Munich office. But um, wherever you are, I'm glad that you joined. Um, some of our presenters today will also join us from, uh, from our Munich um, European offices, such for example as Dublin. Um, yeah, so I'm very happy that you joined today for our special user group meeting today with our topic, People Workflow Automation. Yeah, as already said in the beginning, we're happy to have a little bit of a more offline event feeling. Um, so stay tuned. We will have some very exciting events coming up in 2022, where we will visit all our Munich, uh, all our Presonio offices, um, for example, Madrid or Dublin. So stay tuned. We will invite all our customers to that and then um, very welcome you um, in our Presonio offices. As um, yeah, you maybe might already know me, my name is Hannah. I am customer event manager at Personio, and today I will be your moderator of the event. And now I'm gonna start presenting you our agenda. So let me quickly start, share my screen. Yes, as I already said in my introduction, um, our special topic today is people workflow automation, as you might have heard, which we have launched as a new category during last, year, last week of our hack event here in Munich. And um, yeah, we will talk a little bit about that during our event today. We will start with our vision about um, people workflow automation, where um, Marta will present you something about that. Then um, as already in last, our last user group meeting, we will have a product roadmap update for the next upcoming quarter. So quarter four, so stay tuned um, what our product is going to, um, to be developed. Um, then we will jump uh, again together with Marta in a panel discussion. And I will be asking Marta um, some of your questions that you have um, around people workflow automation. So you see at the bottom section of, um, of the meeting, you see a Q&A section. So please feel free to use that section, ask your questions. We will um, then ask our speakers and forward your questions and um, then we can answer them live and directly so you get um, your answers very fast. And then again, we have another deep dive section today as our last point, um, Valentin will join us um, for a special um, deep dive into about technical stuffs um, regarding integrations that you might um, be interested about, especially when it comes to um, all those kind of works, workflows we will be talking about today. Yeah, that's it from my side. Um, so I'm very happy to um, kick off the meeting. Um, and then I will um, hand over to um, one of my colleagues, Daniele. Daniele will quickly say hello and introduce you to um, our chat function as well. Um, welcome, Daniele. Hi, thank you, Hannah. Can everyone hear me? Great. Uh, my name is Daniele. I am a community manager at Personio, and I will moderate the Q&A sessions with Dan and Valentin. So if, if you have any questions about what you're seeing, just write the, your questions in the chat where the Q&A button is. And uh, also, if you see an interesting question from someone else, make sure to upvote it by giving a thumbs up. See you at the Q&A. Yes, uh, thank you, Daniele. Yeah, as said, now I'm happy to kick off of our first um, session today, which is going to be presented by Marta. Marta is originally from Spain, Barcelona, but today live on stage with me here in Munich. Um, she, she joined Personio as our first program manager. And um, yeah, she loves dark chocolate as just a side fact. And um, during the last year, Marta uh, mainly coordinated and executed um, the People Workflow Automation Launch. So she is really an expert in that kind of topic. So I'm very, very happy to welcome her today to our meeting. Welcome, Marta. Thank you, Hannah. And thank you for having me here. I am very excited to talk to you more about the journey that we've been in, the vision that we've had for people workflow automation and how we've worked together with our teams, but also with you and all the learnings that we've gathered from you to shape this vision that we have for Personia's future. So why focus on process automation and why does it make sense to do that now? We've observed that delays happen in every single organization and they happen constantly. The thing is, 
it's very hard to understand what the impact of those delays is. Sometimes it's like flipping a coin. Things may turn out just fine, but maybe those delays, some delays have really drastic and dramatic consequences to your organizations. And Personio has a very uh, strong customer empathy, and that is one of our values. And from the conversations that we've had with you, the privilege of learning from your experiences, we've seen that delays caused in your organizations have a critical impact. And to make that a little bit more tangible, I'm going to walk you through three different examples that we've seen where uh, delays have had those negative consequences on your organizations. Let's imagine Mark, who's an extremely um, powerful candidate, you know, the star kind of employee that you want to have in your company. Um, but the, the contract is sitting on the desk from the, the manager or the director for it to be signed. And because they're on a, on a trip, on a um, business trip, they don't get to the office until three days later. That results in the managing director not sending on time the, the application to, to Mark, and he decides to, to withdraw because he's kind of afraid, right? So you've missed out on the opportunity to hire great talent, that person who is going to make a massive impact on your company by having had that delay. Another example, let's imagine Serena, she's also a really good uh, employee at your organization, and she's been hired to become a leader. So... Um, she needs to be assigned to the relevant groups and Slack channels or communication channels to stay on top of what's happening at the management level. And because she's not added access to those email groups on time and the, and the communication tools, she misses out on a company event that's specifically for leaders. So even though that she's now super happy at her, low, uh, at her role, she's missed out. She's missed out on making those meaningful connections with her peers. And last but not least, something that is also quite critical for organizations today, which is deprovisioning users once they leave the company. So for example, George here, he gives up his laptop, you know, and his access card, everything while he leaves the company on a Friday, but because IT is too swamped with a lot of tasks, they don't get to deprovision his accounts until Monday. So he's had access to your data, to private information, your intellectual property for the whole weekend you obviously don't want to miss out on securing your intellectual property. So as you've seen, those are just three very, you know, um, common examples of things that could happen in your organization if you don't take action in time. And they are events that trigger people processes. The thing is, we have many of those processes happening all across the organization, across different teams. And most of the times those processes also entail or incorporate another application. And reality is HR is in the middle of that, right? And they need to manage those people processes, but more often than not, it expands their merit of responsibilities. It goes beyond the responsibilities that they would have on a usual basis. So the amount of delays, friction that that causes has you know, an impact on the organizations. And that is the vision that we have for people workflow automation. We want to avoid, we want to remove those delays by connecting the right people at the right time with the right tools. So we actually believe that the current HR software is failing at providing that, that access to other tools, right? It's failing at making HR go beyond HR. And we've even seen that with Personio as well. And we truly believe that we need to empower you to play a more strategic role, to go beyond your scope of traditional responsibilities so that you can streamline the processes, avoid delays, and hence not miss out on opportunities. And that is what uh, we've um, envisioned. And that's why we've created People Workflow Automation as a category that removes delays and realizes opportunities. So um, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit more about the category itself. What does that mean? You know, how Personio has been uh, working towards this vision and what have we uh, launched? What will be available for you or is already available for you as well as the outlook, what will come later on? So 
just to recap on what I've mentioned, we want to remove delays so that you realize all your opportunities. We want to empower you to play a more strategic role going beyond your traditional responsibilities. We want to democratize automation. We want to ensure that SMEs, that smaller companies have access to resources and tools that otherwise would only be limited to larger companies or to companies that have access to IT teams that can set that up for themselves. So we want to create something that it's easy to, uh, to implement and easy to utilize. And last but not least, we're continuing to invest on our mission, which is enabling better organizations. So really people workflow automation is at the core and at the heart of what Personio has been doing and will continue to do. So today, we already have some existing functionality that speaks to people workflow automation. Um, and we've developed this based on the learnings that we've gathered from more than uh, our 5,000 customers today. Uh, we have onboarding and offboarding approvals. We've got reminders. We've got e-signatures that are available. You can schedule data changes and you can also, we also empower you with a recruitment uh, panel management. But on top of that, we released some new features last week and I'm gonna, uh, show them to you. Well, this is actually a customer quote uh, that I liked that says, we have saved about three hours work every single day in recruiting and communication with candidates. And HR administration is now seamless. But what's new? So the Workflows Hub is new, and that is a central place where you can monitor and observe all the different workflows that are currently um, happening in your business. So there's a, an onboarding and offboarding widget. There is an approvals widget. You've got an e-signature widget. And with that overview and oversight, you can really see, okay, which processes are already happening? Who's responsible for those? Are there any delays? You can identify where a process is being stuck so that you can reach out to the right person, the right owner or stakeholder and say, excuse me, uh, please action that because otherwise we may miss out on an important candidate on an important opportunity for our business. So that is one thing that we've launched. And a customer who's already tried that in beta when we released it in beta earlier this year, they said, in the past, we didn't know who needed to sign what contracts and when. But now, thanks to Personia's workflow hub, we have an overview of everything that we need in one single place. Another thing that the team has been working very hard on and has launched is absences request through um, collaboration tools like MS Teams and Slack. Because we want to be able to bring work where it happens, right? Um, I work in Personio, so I have Personio opened up in my computer every day. But that is not necessarily the case for our customers and their employees, right? Like their employees may not have that uh, as the tool that they access to on a daily basis. But probably they do come in every day and open up Slack or open up MS Teams. So we want to be able to bring functionalities that exist in Personio to where their work happens so that we remove those delays and make that experience more seamless for them. Um, there's another integration that we've launched that is going to really empower, you know, it's going to embody really well the benefits of automation, which is integration with identity access management tools, like for example, Azure AD and Okta. What that allows you is that once a Personio, not a Personio, sorry, once an employee is created in Personio, uh, your Active Directory would automatically create a user and important attributes, like for example, their role, their management or department are automatically mapped to the directory. So whenever there is a change in that person's position or if they leave the company, that is automatically updated. So you ensure that they have access to the right uh, access groups on time and it's up to date or that they're removed from the tools when they're leaving your company, keeping your data safe. And um, that is what's been, what's been happening and what we've launched for you today, but we know we've got a, a road ahead of us and we want to continue to work with you, understanding your needs and build together a roadmap of futures and functionalities that will improve and streamline your processes. So we launched the marketplace earlier this year with 35 integrations. We've now more than doubled the amount of integrations that we've made available for you. And I want to call out, obviously, you know, Slack, MS Teams, Okta, Azure ID, but the similar integration that we've got with payroll in Germany uh, 
Datif, we're also bringing that to you with uh, Pento, Payfit, and Numbers. And those are just some examples of cool workflow integrations that you will have access to. Then there's global task management. We are going to create, and it's actually going to launch soon to beta at least. Dan is going to tell you more about it. But we want to, we're creating a general inbox that you can access from wherever you are in the product where you can see your tasks and your notifications. And that uh, is going to allow you not only to have an overview of what is, you know, what needs to be your top of mind, but you are also going to be able to prioritize those tasks based on filters. And just as, as of last month, we had 6,000 tasks created um, and executed in, in Personio. Because you know some processes need to be automatic, but some others require manual action. Like for example, HR managers uh, approving sicknesses requests, or for example, managers approving time tracking and stuff like that, you know, you, we just want to streamline the access that you get to those tasks and notifications. Because the more we create workflows um, with some manual interaction, the more you will need to streamline that experience of tasks and notifications. So we really want to focus on building some uh, a robust service for you there. Then there's um, a really exciting product that we're going to be launching, which is the Performance Cycle Builder. That's going to help you and your organization create performance reviews at a scale. So for example, if you have a company of 600 employees, you're gonna be able to set up the right workflows that create the tasks and potentially reminders for the right people so that they are actioned at the right time. And you don't need to follow, you know, uh, be like crazy following up on every single task that needs to be created. You can be, you're gonna be able to monitor everything from one single overview and, and really play a proactive role in setting it up, setting the workflows up, but then also um, managing and closing them on time. And last but not least, I think this is like the, the how would you say, the gem of the crown? The <laughs> I don't know, but it's basically the workflow builder. From all the conversations that we've had with our customers, we've understood that everyone has people events, right? Everyone has a promotion. Everyone has parental leave. But every single one of you manage those processes in a different way. And for that, we want to create an engine that allows you to set up flexible workflows that fit your organization's needs. So the engine behind this workflow builder is going to be quite sophisticated because we want to make it easy for you to use and, and, and also implement. And with that, what I'm trying to say is that it's not gonna come in just a few uh, weeks time, right? Like this is going to require effort, but I can only tell you that it's really going to be worth the wait because ultimately what we want to allow you to do is go beyond your typical merit of responsibilities give you a more strategic role and position in your company and create processes that allow your organization to accelerate its business.